That is seven and eighths. close enough and then what I got to do is I got to um, sand it a little bit because it's uh, it's too high and it hits the fork this one sanded down just enough as you can see there's a difference <laughs> but that will help the air go flow into the motor better so that's why I'm doing this There's two, not bad looking. A little bit of sanding, maybe more bending. I might bend them down a little bit more. I got another one on the go. See what they look like when they're on. Kind of scary. They're uh, turning out better than expected, actually. So the wheel is going this way, and the ear is going this way. So that will work. <laughs> That's cool. Two more, and it's done. These uh, actually lock right in there. I'm still going to put a little bit of glue on just so they don't pop out and shatter against the fork, but um, they're in there pretty tight. It's cool. One side done. As you can't see, I didn't do something with the holes that were in the wheel. Um, so the wheel goes this way, and they're it dimpled in this way, dimpled in that way. And it'll pull the air in this side, and then the other side will pull the air out because I'll have them reversed. Since the wheel only goes in one direction anyway, so... But it clears the fork, and they're glued in there. I used a little bit of um, uh, Spectra. It's uh, for airbrushing. Just painted it on there. When it dries, it's dull, and it sort of covers up the um, the roughness of the plastic. And they're they're glued in there, so they won't uh, come flying out. But that's it. That's one side. I got the uh, back to do, and most of the PLA or S uh, PLA that I'm using is. Um, old so take it easy